be a great time to, to talk about charging by the kilowatt hour versus charging by time. So the price for this is 30 cents a minute. And that's whether you're getting 125 kilowatts or you're getting 27. We can do the calculation. I think I got like five kilowatt hours and I paid like four bucks. You're paying almost a dollar a kilowatt hour. It's charging us by the minute, not by the unit of energy. And because the car is only pulling like 25 kilowatts, we're not getting 125, we're getting 25. Now granted the car can only do like 50, but we're getting half what we should. So this is not a good value. Everybody should be going to charging by the kilowatt hour. Theoretically, this should be able to run up to 47. Yeah, that's what the bolt can take. 47, sometimes 50, it depends. And it, it, it for whatever reason, it's being throttled at half well, of it, that. It's, it's not that the station is throttling, it's that the battery is cold. But when that happens, is you're still only getting 25, 26 kilowatts, but you're still paying 30 cents a minute no yeah. matter what. I'm not sure exactly how the BMS is programmed. But, but you pretty good chance if it was 70 degrees all day today? Yeah, 70 degrees. We were getting 50. Yeah. At this state of charge, you're at 38% battery. 70, 80 cents per kilowatt hour? This is... Paid 13. The following day, I traveled across the state to Mount Pleasant, Michigan in the Bolt EV, where I encountered an almost identical set of ChargePoint DC fast chargers with one important difference. Pricing. This is why the Bolt is not a road trip car. 80% complete in 60 minutes. We're at 50% right now. One cool thing about this station is they charge by the kilowatt hour, not by the minute. So even though I've been here for a while, about 20 minutes, I'm only up to almost $3 for the 8.35 kilowatt hours. So thank you, Coin Oil, for pricing properly.